Hello. Thanks for dropping in. I got a little sidetracked. I did. Because in front of me is another Vic 20. It is an older one. It has a two prong. It also, if you look carefully, and you hear that sound, it has the keys the same as what the pet had. So it is an older thing. It has, um, I need to tidy it up. It has some sawdust and other stuff on it. And I have not tested it. The power switch seems okay. And it does not have any screws in it. So when I peek inside, it looks okay. Now, does it work? That is the question. Here is an interesting thing I noticed on the bottom. It is made in the USA. And the serial number is 7,728. Which seems to be pretty low. Pretty low. And as this came from a former Commodore employee, well, you never know, you know. So, let's see here what we have. I will apply power once I find the connections that I need here. Oh, yeah. I still have the the rapid fire crazy Vic 20 here. I have not tinkered on it further. Before this came up, this I think this will tidy up nicely. Sawdust is not a terrible thing. All right, so this machine has probably not been on in more than 30 years. Let's see what we see. We have. I did, you know, because this screen seemed to be awfully bright, and really you couldn't see anything there, I did turn the brightness down. Well, there, that's back to the middle ground, so that looks okay. I will turn it off and reset it. Try again. It's a big 20, all right. It is. Well, as I have done before, let me stick in a cartridge. Let's see if it functions. Okay, that sometimes happens. Sometimes they go on and then they just kind of, and they just don't come up. I will try again. All right, so now tweak the cartridge ever so slightly. Ta-da! Omega race. And I am not connected. And I believe I'm going to get shot. There we go. I believe to make this go I need to have paddles or a joystick. There are no keyboard controls. But that is okay. Soon it will be over. So that is. I will take a magic eraser to this. I suppose I could. Well. Oh, we go. oh I think I've. I think I've changed the screen color so that I can't see anything. There are ways. On the when this fires up to alter the screen color. I was not really paying attention. Okay. Chip color, yeah. If you change oh that's kinda cool. If you change the the ship color and the screen color to the same color you don't see very much. Blue's not bad. 
I am. That's not bad either. I really haven't messed with these. I've always gone just with the black and white. I have. And here, so here we have an old big 20. Um, I am thinking that uh, yeah, definitely the case needs some tidying up as well as the keys. It may be there is so much sawdust, etc., that maybe the keyboard. Oh, I don't like the thought of having. If the keyboard is working nicely, I don't really like the thought of taking it all apart to clean up the keys. Because there's always a chance when you take it apart that something breaks. And that would be tragic, of course. Anyway, so here we have an old, old, old Vic 20. You know what? I think I will do one thing while I'm here. I'm going to take this cartridge out. I'm going to turn this back on. And I'm going to run my... Get up on the table there. I'm going to push the keys. And it does seem that they work. I thought I could change. The cursor color. Maybe the maybe the keyboard does need to come apart. I thought if I press control. to register Vic 20s, I think, um, and I, I can't imagine that this is, you know, an incredibly low serial number, but it does look pretty low. It does. And it has the pet style keyboard. And for those that don't know, and I'm sure most people know, but maybe you don't know, is what happened, of course, is they, they had, they were making the pet, and then they came out with the Vic. And... They used the same internals in the keyboard for the first um, the first work twenties, and that doesn't mean that they scan the same necessarily. But maybe they do. I don't know. It means that the keys on the top are squarer, and they sound like this and that. I don't know if you can hear that. Here's another bit. They have the pet sound, which means underneath the actual plunger and the stem and the spring and everything else are the same as what came out of the pet. And actually, if you really were in a crunch, you could fix this Vic with a pet. You could fix a pet with this Vic if you had a bad key. You could. I'm not saying you should, but you could. And these, I think these, these have a bit of a softer feel. The keys are more rounded, so they probably fit your fingers better. But this is an old Vic. It is. So. Well, 
as they say, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, stay tuned. I'm sure I will have more things to look at, including, of course, this is the the crazy Vic, the one that was running, 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 running like crazy, 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 crazy. Um, anyway, as I say, I'm going to let this kind of sit and do its thing. And until the next time we meet, bye for now.